So, um, you know, the technologies we see, like the voice-activated systems and even the iPad, in the old days, computers were very difficult to use. Uh, even, you know, the old IVR systems, when you'd ring up the bank and press one for English, press two for Polish, uh, you know, it was complicated. So the older people found this technology more difficult to use, which is why they preferred a human experience. But as technology gets more and more capable, it gets easier for us to use. So in the future, you'll just be able to talk to your computer and say, hey, can, can I afford to buy this new house or can I afford to do this and your computer will be able to tell you. So the technology becomes a lot more uh, uh, achievable uh, for, uh, for, for everyone to use. And uh, I think if you think about things like retirement planning and healthcare and all of those things, we'll be relying on these technologies in the future more. As we introduce new technologies on the payment side, for example, in the past, uh, you know, writing a check, uh, which is still popular in the United States, it's not secure. You know, the signature can be copied, the paper's not secure, it's a very insecure system. When we went to magnetic stripe cards, it improved. EMV and chip, uh, chip and pin that we use is now, and, and pay pass and tap to pay contactless, that gets more secure. But now we can use our phone and we can put a facial recognition or we can use fingerprint. So every time we introduce these new technologies, it gets more and more secure. But one of the side effects of this is we're starting to lose some privacy because we have to give up some data to be able to use these new systems. So I think you're really going to start to see fintechs and banks working together to create this new ecosystem of what's possible. Fintechs are creating innovations in banking much faster and much cheaper than traditional banks. They can deploy capital more efficiently. So as a result, if you want these new innovative features like using a voice AI, then you're going to partner with a fintech instead of building it yourself. And I think this is uh, the opportunity for collaboration between these two two parties.